This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change materials. Now, this might seem very basic, but I do need to make a video about it because it's important and someone's gonna search that here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna hop into my content in the starter content, go into props here, and basically you can uh, add in whatever you want here. Uh, I'm just gonna add in a couple different uh, uh, items here just because I wanna show you how this really does work, right? So we've got some props here. And uh, if we go into here, uh, not the architecture, actually it was in the props here and you can use this guy right here okay so basically for example if you click on anything you'll know that there is something called the material now you can basically change this material to whatever you want here um, so it depends on if the material is meant for something that is tileable like this like if i use this here it does seem to work but obviously you can know that this frame is meant for something else uh, you know you can change it to glass right? Because that is a material of one of the objects here. And you know, there's a lot of cool things like if you type in metal, uh, you know, there's this copper metal, there's all these different kinds of items that you can use. So for example, if we hop into this guy here, uh, you can change the material. Now you'll notice that there are two colors, there's white and gold. Well, you can now change both of these uh, to something different here. So I can change one to steel, and then the other to, um, let's see, um, I type in rock here, you can see that there's all these different kinds of rock. I'll just do slate, for example. So you can see that one slate and the other is rock here. Now let's click on this ball here. And if I type in rock again, we can do something a little bit different, like sandstone. So now uh, this ball uh, is now a sandstone ball. Right, there we go, looks pretty cool. Now again, not every material is gonna work right out of the box, um, just because um, uh, just because the, sometimes the material, like this chair here, like if I double click on this material here, you'll see that um, <laughs> the textures and everything that come into this, right, are meant for the chair. And, you know, if I kind of add this in here, you'll see that this is, uh, the material is made specifically for this chair, okay? Now, that what that means is that whoever made this within the, um, uh, whoever made this, within the 3D modeling program made a specific material in that 3D modeling program, but that doesn't mean you can't change it. So for example, if I do, uh, you know, rock again, and I'm gonna do marble polish, like everything's marble here, and you'll see that it kind of works, it looks a little stretched, but this one you might not be able to change just because it is UV unwrapped in such a way that it doesn't allow uh, for these smooth textures. And again, the UV unwrapping is like putting a little wrapper around your 3D model and then painting it. That's what the other uh, thing does, right? So there you go. That is how you switch materials. It's very easy and very simple uh, to do, right? But there are a lot of caveats, uh, specifically when it comes to custom-based um, uh, models with custom materials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.